Alrighty, ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here tonight. Folks, we have our Maximizer Toolbox here. Uh, old school 1996 model that we are putting together a little butcher block to go on top here. We're getting ready to carry this uh, toolbox over to our new job. And what I've done here, I uh, never have had anything other than a black rubber mat on top of this uh, toolbox. And I think I had... I think it got something spilled on it. I might have thrown it away. I can't find it. So what I've decided to do is make myself a little butcher block here. I took a piece of OSB to start with, cut it to fit, as you can see. But uh, what we're going to do is actually we got some, um, I'm going to bring it right over here. We already got them cut out. These here are uh, 2 by 12s two 2 by 12s one 2 by 8 that I actually cut down to about 5 inches. This these three pieces actually flip the other way, go right on top of that OSB, okay? And what we're gonna do, these actually were walk boards at one time when I was uh, redoing a ceiling, uh, standing up on uh, using these as walk boards. They had um, uh, sheetrock putty all over them. As you can see, there's still some here. I just ran a sander over them. We also use these to paint the weights. For Nathaniel, we painted some weights one time. As you can see, it looks like there were weights sitting there and we spray painted them. So anyway, uh, these are actually going to go down the other way. You won't see all this, but what you will see is this side here. We're going to sand this up real nice. We're going to put a burn finish on it and we are going to put several coats of linseed oil on it, okay? So stay tuned and we'll just kind of do a little tutorial here. Uh, showing you the progress as we go. So stay tuned, friends. Okay, guys, we have this assembled now. Um, what we've done is, let me show you these screws we're using. We're just using regular old inch and quarter uh, sheetrock screws, like this right here. And uh, we're screwing the OSB to the tuba tens and the tuba six. And I've got a few of them in place here. Let me lift this up and just kind of show you. So this is the surface here that's going to be facing up on the toolbox. And we're going to sand this up really nicely. You can see that there's, uh, you know, sheetrock putty all over all of this. There's some uh, dirt, grease looking stuff right here. We got, we're going to hit it with some 60 grit. Go back over with some 150. Um, and then we're going to burn it and use uh, linseed oil to soak it down really good. And this will be our worktop for our maximizer. Now, what I'm going to continue on here, guys, I'm going to put several more screws. I just kind of got it all lined up. I'm going to put multiple screws here, more than probably needs be everywhere. I'm going to screw this thing down really good. And then we'll flip it over and start sanding. Okay, guys, we got everything screwed down really good. About six inches apart, um, you know, all the way down on the uh, edges, all the way around the whole thing. And we chalk just a line uh, where the boards are, right here and right here. And we went on both sides of the line, about six inches apart, and screwed down all the way down. So it's secured pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and run our sander over it a little bit, just to knock off any uh, loose chips. And then we'll flip it over and get busy doing some real sanding on the other side, on the pretty side. All right, we got it flipped over now. And as you can see, we got a lot of sanding to do to make this look pretty. So we're gonna get busy at it, guys. We're gonna hit it with 60 grit to start with. I think we got a lot of 60 grit paper. We also have some 150, and whatever it ends up looking like in 150 is what it's gonna be. And we're gonna we'll burn it up with the torch, and then we'll put that linseed oil on it. Stay tuned. <laughs> grip put us a little radius on the edge here around all these edges here kind of raised them off a little bit left the back back and kind of square we just took off any any uh splinters and stuff anyway i think that's about good enough we're going to get our little torch out try to highlight this grain some 
Notice that this one back here is actually a piece of treated, okay? So it's gonna look a little bit different, but you know what, that's all right. Uh, I'm just happy that we were able to find enough scrap around here to do this. We have not had to spend one dime. All right, guys, let me get the torch out and we'll see what it looks like. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you just a little bit of this uh, burning. What I'm doing is just keep the flame moving. And as you can see, the flame will actually darken the grain and actually kind of highlight it a little bit. So we're gonna keep on working across the surface of this thing. And what it does, it just gives it a little bit more character, you know? See how it's kind of highlighting the grain, darkening it up a little bit? And when you put that linseed oil on there, it really pops in. So kind of giving it a rugged look. So we'll keep working with it, as long as we got some gas in this old propane torch. All right, folks, hey, I've been messing around with this thing probably 45 minutes or so, and I think I've got it about like I want it. As you can see, using the torch, you can actually kind of burn the little bit of the grain and really make it pop, make that grain look really good. I tell you what, you wouldn't have thought that this was a um, just some old scrap lumber. It's even kind of blended that piece of treated where it doesn't look so odd now. Okay, we're gonna get the linseed oil. And we're gonna soak it down. And you're really gonna see a difference when we put a little linseed oil on there. Okay, what we're gonna put on this thing is boiled linseed oil. And I only got one hand here to work with since I'm trying to film. I'm just gonna pour a little bit on this rag here. Okay, that's plenty right there for now. And I'm going to show you what this does, okay? So just watch this. We are going to rub this in nicely. Nice thin cut. Look at that color. Look how that grain is just popping, okay? So guys, what we're going to do, go around this whole thing. And we're going to put a nice even coat of linseed oil on here. Let it soak in. And we might get another coat on tonight. And if not, we'll get it on there tomorrow. We'll put two, three coats of this on here and let it soak in. And we'll show you what it looks like when we're done. All right, folks. Hey, uh, we got a coat of the linseed oil on there. As you can see, it kind of highlighted the colors even more. Darkened things up a little bit. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. And, uh... Like I said, tomorrow we'll put um, a few more coats of this thing on here before we carry our toolbox over to our new new place of employment. And uh, so there you go, guys. That's how to make a uh, like a butcher block top for your maximizer toolbox. You can also do that with any other uh, large bottom toolbox that you may have, whether it be a Snap-on or a Matco or a Craftsman or what have you. Um, I hope you enjoyed the, the video, guys, and we will see you next time. Take care. All right. Hey, we're here on the following day. I uh, just wanted to show you this thing as total final product. We have put three coats of linseed oil on the lid there. We have it attached to the top of the toolbox. We actually went in through the top drawer and installed some screws, some wood screws to actually pull it down nice and snug to the uh, top of the toolbox. So guys, I'm happy with that. I think the biggest thing is I'm just happy that uh, this little project did not cost me any money. I was able to do this, uh, like I said before, I found scrap wood laying around the shop and had an idea of what I wanted to do and just kind of put it all together. And I even had the linseed oil and, and the sandpaper and everything. So it's like, I didn't have to go to the store to buy anything. So I'm tickled to death with that. And um, so guys, here's an idea for a, a little butcher block top for a, for a bottom roll cart, roll chest, whatever, roll chest toolbox, whatever you want to call them. And uh, so get out there and uh, get busy. Put you one together. 
and install it on your toolbox. Thanks again for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Take care, folks.